This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this exercise, we're going to build a simple object-oriented calculator. So let's get started. Open up a DOS window to your Java directory or wherever you enter your Java programs and create the class calc.java. So the first thing you're going to type is public class calc. And then we'll begin by first creating a data member to store a number. We'll work this more like a regular calculator that you use where we're entering a number one at a time. So you enter a number, then if you want to enter another number, you're going to enter an operator, then the second number. Then you hit equals and it returns a value. Well, instead of equals, we're going to use show as a method that returns the result. Or we'll show you whatever the current value of the calculator is. So our data member is number. We'll write one constructor that will take a value in, that's a double, and assign it to number. That will be like typing in the first number in the calculator. Then we're going to write public void add, double in. And it will add in to the number. Then we'll write public void subtract, double in. And it will subtract in from the number. Then we'll write public void mult, double in. And then multiply equal in. And then public void div, double in. And it will divide equal in. And then finally, public double show, which will return the current value of number at any time. And that should be all we need for this first simple version. We'll make some enhancements to this as we go through the rest of the course here and there. So let's save the file. Now let's create a working file. I'm going to delete one I was working with and let's create a new one. Public class chap 12 part 6. Public static void main string args. So calc C is equal to new calc, and we'll put the number 2 in to start with. And what does you see? I tell you what, it's not you see. Let's say calc calculator equals new calc 2. Then just to verify that the show method works, we'll call it first. I'm going to copy that so that I can use it to display as we go. So control C, there we are. And we'll say calculator add 10. And then show the value. Calculator subtract 2.3. Now let's do 2.25. And then show. And then calculator molt. 10, it'll be easy to keep up with, and then show the result, and then calculator div 2, and show. Save the file, come back to our program, let's clear the screen, Java C, chap 12, part 6, dot Java, Java chap, part 6. Let's um, put the output where we can see it, right here. So we added 10 to 2 and got 12. We subtracted 2.25 and got 9.75. We multiplied by 10 to get 97.5. And then we divided by 2 to get 48.75. Let's go back and look at our definition again. Quite simple, but what's nice about this is that we can take this class and then plug it in any place we need a calculator and use it as is. 
So we can use it in a program with a DOS interface. We could use it in a program with a window interface. We could use it in any program at all. And that's the beauty of creating classes. Now, this one was quite simple, and I didn't do any sort of gets and sits and all the fancy stuff that you can do with classes. But one of the nice things about object-oriented programming is to be able to take something fairly simple, like a simple calculator like this, but make it even more effective by making it plug and play so that we can put it any place that we want it to go and have it work pretty much as is. And that's the beauty of object-oriented programming. For the next exercise, we're going to go back to the time class and make some extensions to that class.